Start with a strip of paper, end up with a mosquito. Once you've started these projects and stayed, you'll make more than one. They'll invade. I'll have six or eight legs, but they'll never lay eggs, so you won't have to spray them with Raid. Start with an eight and a half by one inch strip of paper. Fold in half lengthwise along the dotted line. Cut through both layers a little off center, a little closer to the folded side, leaving about one inch uncut on the end. Cut through both layers along the dotted line. Open the piece. Fold the middle piece along the dotted line. Fold it back again along the dotted line. Unfold the first fold and pass the middle strip under the headpiece so the figure is flat again. Cut through both layers along the dotted line to create the wings. Fold along the dotted line, there was a fold there before, and swing the long piece back under as shown. Turn the figure over. Flatten and line everything up, better than in the photo, and fold the whole figure in half along the dotted line in a valley fold, the crease away from you, making sure the wings are on the outside of the head. Weave the nearest leg piece under and over the center piece, then inside itself. Gradually and gently snug the leg down. Turn the figure over. As on the first side, weave the leg piece under, then over the middle piece, then inside itself. Gradually and gently snug the piece down. Cut the leg pieces to the length you want the legs to be one and a half to two inches. Cut through both layers along the dotted lines to create three pairs of legs. Cut along the dotted line to create the tail. Fold the first pair of legs up, forward, and opposite each other along the dotted line. Fold the first pair of legs down and opposite each other along the dotted line to create the leg joints. Fold the middle pair of legs up and opposite each other along the dotted line. Fold the middle legs down and opposite each other along the dotted line to create the leg joints. Fold the third pair of legs back and opposite each other along the dotted line. Fold the third pair of legs down and opposite each other along the dotted line to create the joints. Adjust the legs and stand the figure up so you can view it from above. Fold the wings back and opposite each other. Pinch the neck and open and flatten the head. Reverse that middle fold and push the headpiece straight down, pinching it together as shown. The next photo is shown from the side with the front pair of legs pulled down straight to show the head more clearly. Cut along the dotted line. The next photo shows the figure from above again, with the front legs back where they're supposed to be. Pinch the waist and open and flatten the tail. Press in the tips of the wings to open them up a little. Finished.